whenever you do find that person in your life. And I mean, you had no, I, you probably had no idea it, 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 going into the business that this was going to end up being no. your future. No. And so. the amount of slack that I caught just from dating him, at, I mean, legit. Two people she didn't want to meet. Yeah, you've said this, yeah. You and Kane. And Kane. She found out Kane was probably the nicest human being. The nicest guy in the world. (laughs) And me. And I married him. Yeah, she married me. (laughs) Yeah. So she got, you know, she had that, 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 you know, I like that bad boy kind of deal. Kane was a little too cool. It was was some kind of recessive gene (laughs) in that she had that she didn't know she had. Yeah, you Uh, got me. Yeah. That wore down, man. Was it um, was it difficult dating and working together and being on the road and all that stuff? I mean, like, there's it's hard dating someone in the office space already. Like, if you work with somebody, it, that part's difficult I think to start. It's different with. though, because if we didn't, then we wouldn't have seen each other at all. I mean, you know what I mean with that type of job. Yeah, it's hard. I, I think, fortunately, um, at this time, I mean, I'm not, I'm not trying to kind of sound you to most more people were intimidated by me at that point than yeah ever before like nobody's nobody wanted to cross me I mean, it, it, yeah but you know i had to love you because the, the amount of you know she, that took, I got, them. she like, took them a huge amount of grief obviously it's like oh okay now she's she's any top guy now and, and mind and, you i'm just saying there's people that date at top guys well i don't know if you call that dating that were with top guys what was well known yeah they didn't get that grief, but I got a lot of slack. Yeah. Why I don't, really I don't, not only did his fans legitimately hate me because they think they're married to him or something, you yeah. know, it's like sometimes it's Everybody wants to like death threats. I know. I get it. I understand completely now. But, um, yeah, I've gotten them. Yeah. And we definitely <laughs> don't date. <laughs> right? <laughs> you know, we don't even it's date. Weird. Not at all. <laughs> it's, weird. it's weird, isn't it? Like they think they, uh, anyway. So in that regard, I got it. And then, of course, anything I did or said, not any type of work I put in was because I was married to, not married at the time, dating The Undertaker. Yeah. Um, even from coworkers. And it was just like, gosh, dang, it, it wore on me a lot. Was there a, a jealousy factor, you think, that was there? Or did they feel like, oh, she's only doing this to try to get this? I mean, what was the... <sighs> I don't know what goes through people's heads. I really don't. It really, it's... um. It's kind of weird because, um, like, and, and it kind of gets into our to- our topic. Like, the women didn't get a lot of opportunities None. back then, anyway, right? And she made it to her credit. She made it perfectly clear to me. She goes, "You will not speak on my behalf." Yeah, that I can see that. I mean, it <laughs> was also it, very it, 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 was frustrating. That. it yeah. was frustrating to me because, like, I knew I had that juice. Yeah, not you can walk I, in the office. Not and, that I, yeah. and, and, and I saw, like, I saw the frustration. I saw the work that she put in. Like, storylines. I, I literally I wished, wrote out storylines. I wish, yeah. I mean, I wish that the, you know, she, like she said, like, I never helped the girls because most of them were there. They they were only there for a stair step to go somewhere else. Most. There were some. But she, she. It was just a different Her era. work ethic and, and, and what she put into it. Um was different and it wasn't fair obviously i mean you, you know what you're getting into when you know you cross that line but it it wasn't fair because she i just want it more butt, yeah she worked her butt off and she wasn't and i say it all the time people get tired of hearing me say it don't be content yeah and they're there at that particular time in the in the industry for women you had to fight there so was a well much. there was a hard line yeah there was a hard line of, okay, this is as far as we're going to go. Y'all were told at one point. To not punch and kick? To do not punch and kick. At all. During our matches. Is it more just like slapping like, okay, and yeah. hair pulls mm-hmm. and that's what they mm-hmm. essentially wanted? Mm-hmm. Yep. That actually got banned after Lisa, Victoria and I had to redo our match because our punches looked too good. Yeah. You got in trouble with uh, um, Melina. Oh, yeah. For having a match that was too good, that was yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, they did some like, really we, innovative. We did a DDT on the barrier. Yeah, and that like back then was way too yeah crazy for the girls. We got in trouble for doing that. And we didn't a- have to redo the match, but we got in trouble for that. Lisa, and Victoria, and I had to redo the match because we were told our punches look better than the guys. And at the time, one of the top guys was standing there, 
uh, Jericho, and he said, if their punches look better than the guys, that's a guy's problem. Yeah, that's not y'all's problem. We had to, we thought they were ribbing us, and we literally had to go change our clothes, get back into our gear, go out and redo the match. So you went, went back out, out to the same that's audience. That's when the rule was made, no punching and kicking. Mm-hmm. Yep. You went in front of the same, same crowd. Audience. He was like, probably like, what on earth? Yeah. And mind you, our matches were two minutes, four minutes tops on a good with day, entrances. like with entrances. If we, and it's like, oh man, it was crazy. So why? I mean, it, but it but really I mean, is. there were there were times there was to this whole point where we we're talking about. I remember a writer, a particular <laughs> a particular writer, who I was on the show and I fought. I'd, I'd write out detailed storylines weeks in advance, just trying, trying, trying. Doing something on the show, walked in the writer's room. He's like, If she wasn't the Undertaker's wife, she wouldn't be on the show and tore up the papers and tossed them. And I just happened to catch wind and walk by, and I was like, Oh, okay. And I remember wow. he was hot, but I was like, I got this. I promise you, I got this. I was so mad. Uh, but it was stuff like that, you know, from certain writers all the time. Um, definitely You're certain, already definitely a- certain girls that wouldn't say it inside the locker room, but then would go, you know. You're already in a position to wear. Being a female wrestler is tough already, oh, yeah. and they're trying to just two, three minute matches, slap hair yeah. pull. It's yeah. you know the lingerie matches. It's a lot of you know just a lot of that stuff. Mm-hmm. And then now, on top of it, you're dating right. this dude, right? And like that situation right there, where it was, well, if she wasn't the Undertaker's girlfriend, yeah. if she yeah. wasn't dating him, yeah. And there were several several times, like like he said, where he wanted to say something, I was like. Mm-mm. That just brings more heat on me. Like, they, I can they handle it, but... They, they couldn't take away from your talent, though. What you were doing in the ring, though, was... But I was only doing it in the ring because of him. I was only allowed in that ring because of... There's... Okay. Everybody gets an opportunity, and how you get that opportunity sometimes varies, right? Right. Well, if the door's been open for me just because I know someone... And I walk through that door. What I do once I walk through that door. That's logical thinking. That's what matters. If I don't do a good job, it's like getting a job. If I got a job because my buddy knows somebody and he got but me you're a job. you logically here. And I don't do a good job, I'm going to get fired. And you also got to realize, like, with the girls in that time, we were fighting for our spot. Like, you're not getting two to three girls matches. You might not get one. And when you get that one, it might, like we said, be two, three, four minutes tops with entrances. So there were however many girls fighting for that one spot. So I think there's some animosity. And when I did get that spot, I happened to be dating him for a while now. And, you know, people say what they want to say. I say a word. There was only one time he ever said something. I still asked him not to say something <laughs> to a certain somebody. <laughs> Cause I'd already handled it and oh. it was weeks later anyway, but yeah. it became entertaining at that point, but we don't, we don't have to go there. 